G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and today we're looking at Tower Factory. Now this is the demo for a game that's due to release in November 2024, and uh, basically as you can see here it's a tower defense, but a little bit of resource management, a little bit of uh, Factorio if you will, and uh, a lot of strategy and crafting and automation to go in it. When this one was sent to me I looked at it and I just thought this game could, could well have been made for me, it's uh, all the little things that I love. And uh, I mean, look at it, it looks gorgeous. So I was really keen to give this one a look. So let's jump in. Uh, not available in the demo. We'll start with Stony Grove. I might do the tutorial. So I don't embarrass myself too much. Thank goodness you're here. Some wicked wizards have built a fortress in this area and they'll soon start attacking us. We need you to build a factory, defend the light tower, and locate the enemy fortress to destroy it. It's not an easy task, but we must try. Let's start with something basic. WASD to move the camera, mouse wheel, and move the mouse sideways to rotate. There we go. Let's get some wood, although for now you'll have to use your own hands. Come on, click on a tree until you have 25 wood. Okay, pretty straightforward. How much we need? 25. Make sure you're in interaction mode, chop down trees. You can switch between interaction mode and build mode by pressing the tab key or hammer slash arrow. I see. Now that we have enough wood, let's purchase some basic machinery. Open the shop with the Q key or the shop button and buy the wood chopper and place it near some tree. Biner, splitter, wood chopper, stone miner, sawmill. Interesting. A wood chopper near some trees. And I get all five, all six, four, five, four. I'll get the five, but it's not going to get any better than that. Uh, now, is there a left click buy, right click cancel, R rotate? There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, doesn't really matter in the end, does it? I'll pop it there. Okay. The wood chopper is already extracting wood from the nearby trees. Now purchase some conveyor belts and create a path from the wood chopper to the light tower to automate the wood extraction. In build mode, press the left click to place or remove, R to rotate, F to sell. If you need more wood, press tab. Ah, to go back to the interaction mode to chop trees. Okay. Chop. What's a conveyor belt cost? One wood. Okay. There's a better go this way. Let's try this. There we go. Look at this beautiful wood coming into the tower. Done. Perfect. You've automated your first wood chopper. Now that you know everything you need, purchase a stone miner and automate stone extraction. Be done. Now this is very quiet. I'm just going to quickly turn the sound effects down, leave the volume of the music up. A little bit nicer. Okay, stone miner. I need 30 wood and 5 stone. Stone takes a bit longer to mine manually. I'm noticing also that these resources aren't infinite. That's that's running out slowly. That seems to be the same for the trees as well, so need to be mindful of that. Now, what did I need? 30 wood. Go. No mana. Looks like I can squeeze it in there and get both of those stone deposits. Rotate that way. A okay. conveyors. Lovely. We need three stone to progress. Here it comes. There we are. Very good. Now you've automated wooden stone extraction, but we're going to need much more. Build more wood choppers and stone miners to gather 100 wood and 50 stone. You can buy a combiner to merge multiple conveyor paths into one single path. Okay. That's fine. Let's get some more wood happening. Four trees and get three... I'll get that one. That one's just out of the map. 
get four trees. That'll do. Conveyors. Oh, rotate. There we are. Beautiful. There's another stone there. Is that within the range of the map? Looks like it. I just need more wood. I'll help out and get some wood happening while we wait. Okay. So, if I put that there, I'll build a combiner. Oh, that's nice. You can put it straight in the conveyor belt. Love to see it. And pop this straight into there. Lovely. I'm nearly ready for another wood chopper. I'll just speed things along. Always do a little one there. Even. Oh. Um. There we go. Just to keep things moving a little bit quicker. Even get those ones, really. Though some of them are already being harvested. I'm sure it won't matter. It means they get them quicker. Oh, is that going to work? No, it needs to be a merger. Combiner. There we are. Look at us go. I've smashed the stone amount I need. I just need the wood now. Which will probably happen quicker if I stop building wood choppers, but... Here we are. The most of everything on the map, I suppose. <clears throat> Look at this go. I love to see it. And I suppose I'll get back into interaction mode and just start chopping this tree just to speed things along. Keep things moving. There we are. Oh no, the wizard has detected our presence and has started sending his troops. Purchase two acorn cannons and place them near the path quickly. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Um, uh, acorn. Oh, towers. Nice. Costs 50 wood. All right. Stop right there. Stop right there. Um, there. Look at these little things. I'll let him in, I say. What, what? He's too innocent looking to do any real harm. He just wants to be friends. <laughs> Have a look at it. Oh boy. They can't be moved once placed and only refund 25% on selling. So you have to be careful how we place these towers. I mean, I've played fair, much a fair share of uh, tower defense before, so I'm unhappy with these basic placements to start with, but need to keep that in mind for the future. We have the enemies under control, but more will surely come soon. It's a good time to start scouting the enemy fortress. Let's build a bonfire in the marked area to clear some fog. Once placed, they can't be moved or sold. Bonfire. Is that this one? Clears the fog in a radius of 5 meters. It costs... Light Essence, dropped by enemies. Okay. We'll do that. It lights up, and here we go. It seems the wizard didn't like that at all, and he'll soon be sending stronger enemies. We'll need to build a sawmill and produce wooden planks to stop him. Sawmill. Craft advanced wood resources from wood. So is that just a matter of... Putting it there and letting that wood just go straight in? Oops. Once built, select the sawmill in interaction mode to change the recipe. Okay. Oh, this is um 
give me satisfactory vibes of this. Do we want planks or do we want wooden stakes? We definitely want wooden planks. Okay, we've got four wood. 60 a minute. Gives me one wooden plank, 15 a minute. This is ridiculous. This is just satisfactory and bloody power defense <laughs> form. <laughs> Which uh, I love, by the way. Oops, oops, oops. Good that we can move this stuff freely, I suppose. Maybe get another one happening. To get that wood pumping. I need 20 wooden planks. Is one sawmill enough? The question now. I think it has to be. Plenty of resources, so is it worth... Okay, the ballista is the next tower. Shoots giant bolts, but it needs the 20 planks. I'm guessing that's what comes next. That's fine. I wonder if I split off this wood, have another sawmill. Just keep a little bit of wood trickling into the tower itself. But uh, I'll worry about that later. I'm nearly done here. I'm not sure whether to assume these are just little tutorial enemies because they are just not threatening looking at all. In fact, I feel a little bit guilty them with acorns. <laughs> anyway, got the 20 planks. At last we can build a ballista. This tower has a damage bonus bonus against armor. That's perfect against crabs. Oh, here comes a crab. Uh, well, that's a big tower. Now we've got something a little bit more threatening. Look at this guy. Spiky crab. Ballista are doing good work clearing up those shields. Now we can resume the search for the enemy fortress. Build more bonfires along the path until you find it. That looks like it. My fears are confirmed. It seems we'll need light crystals, crystals to destroy it. I sense a strange energy just behind your tower. Perhaps you should clear the fog in that area. Go on the boss. I wish I could probably reconsider that placement, but anyway. Here is a light crystal. Select the ruins and take it. The wizard has detected the energy of the crystal. Quickly destroy his tower before it's too late. Select the enemy tower in selection mode. I'll destroy it. Ah, use the crystal. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Big angry fella. Boom. I earned a coin. Nice. You've earned your first golden coins. Use them to unlock buildings and permanent upgrades from the upgrades menu. Interesting. Can't afford anything. Oh, I could afford a catapult. Spike tower. Power crystal tower. Free resources. Health. Beacon. Interesting. So, a little bit of meta progression there, which is nice to see. Let's, uh... Get on with the real stuff now that the tutorial's out of the way. Here we go again. Ooh, a split path. Okay, what do I need again? At least 20. 
25 maybe. Little clock ticking away in the top right corner there. Four minutes 40. So I do have a little bit of leeway to get myself established, I suppose, before the enemies start coming in, which is nice. Let's uh, start there. Enough resources, okay. Maybe I've extended myself too far already. Oh, that costs stone. Oops. Probably shouldn't be looking for the combiner straight off the bat, but anyway. Stone situation is a bit, a bit sad. I need five stone. Put that just off center, just in case there's more out here. Worth getting combiner in early. Maybe I will. Just a bit of forward thinking. That stone happening. Maybe get another one happening up here. Oh, enemies are coming already. I was mistaken about the leeway. Not nearly enough wood. Okay, maybe my priorities are in the wrong place to start with. <laughs> Luckily we start with those two towers, they're holding their own, so that's not too bad. I thought we had that whole five minutes before they would start, so maybe I was looking at the wrong timer. Okay. There we go. All right, now where was I? Before I was rudely interrupted. Well, there's a method to my badness with this one. I'm going to have two wood extractors from the same batch of trees. So, grab this one, do the same there. More trees here, this time. That'll do, that's nice. Then, uh, then to have a sawmill. Going to that side, so then we can have some planks happening as well. Towers are holding up okay so far. Do that. Alright, it's night time. What's happening? Might be in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> 
little rush of uh, happy little mushrooms. Dear Lord. Oof. Being got. Day two. I wonder if I need to re rejig this. I can't actually extend. That maybe go like that. Another one down here. extra water into that sawmill. I think I'm in trouble already. <laughs> Which is sad because these are just pathetic little mushrooms and yet here I am being threatened by them. Making it through. How many planks have I got? I've just got about 20, so I can quickly chuck that down. Might be too late. Hours down. My dear lord. Righto, I've just given the game a quick run through as well, so I've got my second coin here, so I just wanted to see what some of these upgrades could do for me. One thing that might be nice is this uh, instant resource gain. 50 wood, 25 stone. Just to start with, we'll give that a go. We've got a new game, Stony Grove. Let's get into it. Okay, we've got a split path. We've got few little chunks of trees around and thankfully I can just get straight into it as I can get my merger happening nearly oh dear Not what I wanted. There we go. Wood coming in. that. Where's my stone? There's some more stone. Oh, that's not good. More stone up here. Can't afford that just yet. Get this wood happening. I'm pretty vulnerable. Maybe I need to invest in a tower pretty early as well. I might do. Okay, stone, what do I need? I've got enough. Bina, there we go. You can actually probably go that way now. Clear up that side. Beautiful. Some more wood happening here. All right, mushrooms are on their way in.
do have these two towers here ready, so get a little leak early. It shouldn't be too devastating. Got another stone line here. Gonna be a little merger there as well. Let's go straight into that. Now, not enough resources. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Go there. I'm gonna go there. That there. Now, sawmill. Need 50 wood. I'll tell you what. Start putting it straight in so I can actually use that wood. And I'll save it for a sawmill. Try and get some planks happening pronto. those thanks yep nice I could even get this involved a little tower up here There we go. What does a bonfire cost? It costs 50 wood, so I can get one now. I wonder if it's worth expanding that way or exploring out this way, getting some more resources first. Try this. Now watch those planks when I hit 20. Oh, this is bottlenecking. Interesting. Watch it. Oops. Click that. There we go. Uh, 20 planks. Let's get this down. Beautiful. Now what's down here? Just lots of wood. Alright, so I have that first wave pretty well. More wood. Another splitter there. Another sawmill. Yeah. Gonna get another splitter there as well, just for future proofing. And pop that in there. So, we'll see more planks coming through now. How's this looking now? Still backed up a little bit. Maybe I can just uh, take that away for the moment. Doesn't need to be there at all. Well, we've got a few coming close here, so that's a bit concerning. I might uh, invest in another tower here. Front or back? Go back. Not like this at all. Uh, maybe we need some more firepower just to help control the crowds. A bit scary, actually. Build this right there. What's that? Chest. Well, that's handy.
Lots of stone here too, so that's increased that output. Which is lovely. A few more towers to bolster the defense. This guy is going to be close for comfort. Okay, good, good. Let me get another stone thing here. All three, yep. Beautiful. Yeah, a few more stones to come through. And we're looking for planks. Pretty good. Another one of these. Oh, not quite. A bit more stone, please. There we are. Very good, very good. Stone Mason. Probably the next investment. Actually, I wonder if it's worth investing in. Oops. Investing in wooden stakes. What do they do for me? Maybe when they reach the tower, they'll unlock something. No. Put them in the inventory, but uh, they're not doing anything. Good to have, presumably. Just a little bit paranoid with the defences here. <laughs> a little bit paranoid. Um, what else can we do over here? Well, there's some more stone there. To get this one here. We get more... So I should get some more planks out of this. Bottlenecking again, though. Oh, uh, no, that's not too bad. Alright, stone mason. I can afford that. Provide bricks. So we can just survive this wave first. So we should be okay. But what I'm thinking is stonemason. Oops. We want to split the stone in there and then merge it back on. We're not eating up all our stone production, but we'll get some bricks out for our trouble. And I could even have another stone mason here. Just to ramp up production there. Is there anything else I can be building that I'm missing? That's locked. Looks like that's it, so I may as well expand my reach this way. What is that? Look how close these guys are getting. I just said max towers. I would, yeah, maximum towers. That's concerning. Oh, 
We've got little waspy boy there as well. Interesting. All right, we need to need to move. Need more wood. This also needs to be a split, I think. To a merger there. Just for getting more wood out of it, because that was obviously backed up. Uh oh. Don't hurt me, I'm already at my limit. What is that? Obelisk of strength, extra damage to tower space on tiles. I'm down. The tower has fallen. Interesting, I wonder what I could have done better there. Maybe sold some of the cheaper towers and replaced them with those? back to the menu and see what else I might be able to buy. Okay, I can increase the damage of the acorn tower. Not sure what the beacon does. Bike tower, catapult. I don't mind the idea of just improving the acorn tower. Let's do it. We'll give it another crack. I don't know what else I can do except just move faster, really. That's gonna get the combiner. Chop some wood myself, maybe that's where I'm going wrong with them. Bending up on silly things to start with. There we go. The way I see it, the uh quicker I get into production, the better, surely. Whoops. Also helps if I connect those. There we go. Turn up the tops, turn in the bottom again. What do I need? More wood. What's happening here? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm flustered now, I'm trying to rush. Doing silly things. bit of stone coming through. Let's get these towers down. One there to start with. A few more trees to work with here. Maybe I should. I can't afford that just yet anyway. And what happening there quickly? All right, enemies are on their way.
Hopefully that extra damage that I've uh, made to upgrade will be worth something. Get rid of that. Do this. That there. Alright, got those flanks happening straight away. Nice. Another stone thing up here. I'll just try and drop that in as well. Very good. All happening. So this needs 20 planks. We've got four. And I can nearly already get another get a bonfire up. Got some resources I can use here. Nice. Another you know, sawmill wouldn't hurt. Go. Okay, looking good so far. Ah. Mm, that could be improved. Not quite sure if that uh, extra two damage is giving me too much benefit. I mean, if the base damage is eight, so it's, and it used to be six, that's not huge improvement. Oh, without knowing the context of how strong the tower was to begin with, it's really hard to know how much two damage actually is. That's right, could be worse. Let's see what's up this path. Interesting. Okay, now this is good. I can start building a tower. This maybe. Need stone. Forty. What does this do? Increases the damage of towers placed on these tiles. For what? 12. That's actually pretty decent. Already got leaks though, which is concerning to say the least. of these defences pronto. Here comes Shielded Crab. Is this going to be smart enough? Target armour. There you go. Target armour first. That's good. I wonder whether the trick is to move quickly to explore and expand rather than spam towers and sort of tank for a few days. Need some more stone. A little bit of stone there, I wonder if I can reach that. No. 
Oops. Okay, another ballista tower here. You target armor. Beat. All right, need to. I need to muff up this stone production. Got something there. Here we go. Got the crystal. Not the stone I wanted, but it's something. Production is doubled. Oh, there's a chest right there. Can I reach that? No. Damn. Um. Oh, I'm there, I suppose. Just to get that is nice, and we can get another tower out. I've got the crystal, so really I just need to find the tower and then crush it before it's too late. coming. Really wouldn't mind having something a bit more rapid fire. Everything seems very slow. more kills before I can place another another bonfire. Got 16 out of 20 towers as well. Spread those out a bit. Prioritize shielding, please. Do another bonfire there. Jeez, how far does this go? Need to uh, rush these bonfires and find a path. What is that? Obelisk of range, that's cool. What can I do? Maybe sell like that one. Put it there. I think I'm in trouble again. Get the feeling. God, how far does it go?
a bit too close for comfort here. Two more kills, come on. One more kill, there we go. But wait, there's more. Interesting. That's going to be a building right now. There's a stonemason. The bricks don't seem to do anything for me just yet. I'll upgrade a tower to a ballista. Maybe sell that one and put like a ballista here. Whether that's a net benefit or not. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Damn. I don't want to sell any of these tails that are <laughs> currently my last line of defense here. Even if it is for a net positive. Get moving with these, come on. There we go. Destroy. I need three. Oh boy, that wasn't in the uh, that was in the manual. <laughs> Get him! Damn. Need three. Unbelievable. What else I can do? I'm literally just at the mercy of tails I have holding until I kill enough enemies to get uh, more bonfires out. How can I improve these placements? Like you're not the best place, but you're on the damage thing, so that's something. Seems to be no indication of where the crystals might be. Oh God. Not fair. <laughs> Not fair, just let me win. Three more kills. Is there any point in um, expending my resources now? Or should I be collecting all this? Because what am I using it on? I've already got 20 towers. Well, I've got to say, even though at first I thought this game would be <laughs> relatively cruisy. There's obviously a bit of a method to the madness. It's not just going to be a walk in the park, which is good. You've got to have a challenge. Make you think about it, at least. Survived. 
I'm gonna sell you. Um, keep expanding this way, I suppose. Maybe we should be going backwards, actually. Probably a smarter move, isn't it? How much damage do these do? 20. 5 seconds. Or 8 in 2. So really, these are stronger. Higher damage per second, at least. Much shorter range, though. Maybe I need to invest in one of those other new tower types. Change up the uh, defense a little bit. I think this is going to get me this little group here. Unless they can take that wasp out very quickly. Three more kills, come on. I suppose there is a bit of a luck component as well, unless I'm missing something. There doesn't seem to be any indication of where the crystals are. So you have to be expanding in the right direction, or you could be basically wasting your time and effort. Very interesting. Last a bit longer that time, but uh seem to be just... I hit a wall. I'll have to work on my strategy there. Maybe unlock the right upgrades and try again. But I am going to leave it there for now. So thank you for watching. This is Tower Factory. Again, the demo is available now on Steam. The game is due for release later in the year. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. And thanks again for being here. If you like this kind of video and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. It keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And I'm always looking for new games to play, new and upcoming indie games particularly, just like this. So if you have any recommendations, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.